What's up, nerds? It's Robo, and we're back with another episode of Pew Pew Time, where I showcase the Airsoft gameplay footage I collect from the Airsoft games I play in. And on this week, we're gonna pick up with part three of my gameplay series from American Milsim's Broken Home 4. And on this week, I'm actually gonna show you some failures. I think it's important to not only show the cool stuff and when we kick ass and succeed, but when we fail. And I'm actually gonna use this next piece of footage as teaching points to help you improve your own Milsim experiences. So watch out for the next lessons and keep them in mind in the future. And as always guys, let me know what you think below. Enjoy, thanks guys. I am uh, linking up with Grover at the bottom of the valley, the north side of our contact at C CP4, heading towards the down pilot. Yeah, we're in a valley. Hey, Drew, you're in front of me, right? Okay. So just to catch so you up valley, where we are right now, uh, myself, a part of a small direct action contingent of Delta-6, are off to find a downed pilot as a part of a Frago for UFS. Down There's actually five of us. It's myself, Matt Washington, Whoop. Little Reaper from Texas Reapers, Grover, and Brian. And as you'll notice, we were making a bunch Watch of mistakes going down that hill, and that is we're talking out loud, we're not really concerned with our uh, noise discipline, things like that, and to be honest, that's just pure laziness. We were just assuming we wouldn't hit any enemy contact yet, and uh, you're going to see a result of that here. So we've just heard what sounds like talking, so... We've got a direction and now we're kind of scoping it out. But notice we don't scope it out carefully. We kind of walk out in the open and, uh, you know, a little reaper points at them. Uh, and that kind of gets us into trouble here. You know, now Grover's going to go check it out. And in a minute here, you're going to see Matt Washington, Samurai, also step out and uh, check things out in the open there. The problem with that is, is that they actually see yep. Little Reaper. We determined that they definitely see right Little Reaper, and that's why he's feeling. standing like a statue. Well, where are they there? Take the defilade up this hill. Equalize the elevation. So again, there's only five of us. So if we run into enemy contact on the way to our objective here, we might be in trouble. We don't know how large this enemy force is. Uh, Little Reaper has an idea that it's at least seven. Whatever you think, man. Why, does he see you? Probably. Yeah. Okay. And we make this oddball decision to let Little Reaper stand there in the open like a statue, while we then take our small number of five and split it off into a smaller number of four to go attack these enemies. So that's another lesson. I mean, technically, we should be trying to avoid this fight, uh, regardless of whether we've been spotted or not. Uh, this isn't our objective, but you know, at the time we don't know that. Like, pilot may or may not be up there, but in any case, we should have definitely not tried to take these guys head on. But we're going to do that anyways. Go for Robo. We're navigating up the other side of that valley to the north. We're uh, about to hit enemy contact, and we're just trying to figure out how we want to do it. So we're to the north of CP4. We went down in the valley and are coming up the wall right now. Now, Little Reaper is not just standing there doing nothing. He's actually feeding us information as we walk up the other side of the valley here. Good copy. Hey, hey, Matt, Matt. Apparently one walking this way. He's trekking down the hill. He's coming. Now this next scene is gonna be one of the most perplexing things I have ever encountered in an airsoft game.
So Brian, at the very end of our Brian inline formation here, decides to stand directly up and walk up a completely yeah, uncovered nice. sunlit path Get down, just past us, like he wasn't playing the game anymore. It, it, I really didn't know what to say, other than get down. He did. Get off that trail, dude. You're in the sunshine. As in they split off, or they, they added to that number equaling six. Good call. This is Little Reaper giving us some more information about the enemy movement that he can see. They're definitely watching him, uh, and they're definitely preparing for, for us in some regard. But again, we just choose to keep marching forward here. Probably not the best idea. So I'm just trying to get us into a battle line, but take notice of something here. We do have some distance between us, and this actually gets worse as we run into contact. Let me say something, like space between guys is good, but when we've got as few numbers as we have, which is four, too much space actually creates little islands and you can get cut off from each other. The other thing here is, is when we hit contact, our number actually goes down to three, and that's because mm -hmm. for whatever reason, and I still don't know why to this day, Brian literally disappears. Um, we didn't had no idea where he went during this firefight. So it's, it's really just us three. It's Grover, Matt, Samurai, and I up on this hill now. And uh, Little Reaper's still down at the bottom feeding us information. But again, we've now taken a, a five-man squad, reduced it to four. And now we've got three fighting a what we know is a larger enemy force. So these things don't generally end up well. So just keep that in mind. I'm pinned. The guy straight through. Hit. You hit? Yep. Fuck. Okay. So there's Grover down. That's just me and Matt. Well, I think it's me and Matt. I'm not entirely too sure if he's still up at this point. I hear gunfire, so I'm assuming so. That's Matt, who just got shot. So now it's just me. You're seeing how well this worked out for us. And understand, like, those small numbers being cut off from each other, it's just that slow attrition. Like, one guy goes down, then another, and then another, and then soon enough, you're completely wiped out. And a wiped out squad can't really succeed in their mission, so... So as you can see, they are literally all around me at this point in time. And I'm trying my hardest here as the last guy alive. And just too much, too many angles. We're done. Hit, hit! Yeah, a little bit, it's okay. No, it's all good, dude. It's all I gave you. <laughs> and this guy's apologized for hitting me in the head. And dude, all I gave him was my head, so Right on, take it, dude. And then, dude, no harm, no just foul. by chance, he ran up closer to you. But then I got flanked on my left, man. Got demoed in the face. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. So it's just us three, you know, fully dead. We've been searched, and we're just kind of taking a rest. And 
Great. Talking about the experience, uh, you know, telling the stories like we usually do after an airsoft firefight. Here. So there you have it. That pretty much takes care of another episode of Pew Pew Time. I do have more from this gameplay series coming down the pipes for you, so be on the lookout for those. Those will be dropping this week and onward. And on the review front, I have a ton of those to work on for you this week. I'm doing a ton of catching up and I've got a lot to show you. So what do I have in store for you? Well of course I still have my review on my Solomon XA Pro 3D Forces boots, my Black Watch Optic Shields, my PTS Enhanced Polymer Foregrip Short Version, the Way of the Gun Frank Proctor Minimalist Sling, and of course, my Inforce WML and APL Auto Pistol Lights uh, coming for you as well. I just want to take a quick second to give a huge shout out to both of my sponsors being Enola Gay Tactical Smoke Grenades and Red Wolf Airsoft. Both of these companies actually provide me support to continue my airsoft adventures, which allow me to bring you more airsoft footage and reviews. So big thumbs up to them. Check out their websites. It's in the description below. And as always, do let me know what you thought about this video, whether you liked it or didn't like it. Just put it in the comments below. I love the conversation. And if you could do me a huge solid, and that is like, subscribe, and share with all your friends, keeps me happening in this YouTube game. And of course, guys, until next time, Keep having fun playing airsoft, being good community members, defend what you love. Later, guys.